Hello, my name's Ian. Today we're going to talk about green globe artichokes. Probably over the last 20 years you've seen these more at the supermarkets and on restaurant menus, but they've actually been around thousands of years. The ancient Romans and Greeks actually ate these part of their daily diet. They're actually native to the Mediterranean, but these artichokes have actually been cultivated all over the world now. They're very high in dietary fiber, vitamin A, and packed full of antioxidants. Okay, so let's move on to the good part on how to cook these and eat them. A lot of the stigma surrounding these vegetables, I think, is people could see this in the supermarket and say, how do I cook it? How do I eat it? We're gonna show you. What I like to do is trim off the stem. Take about a third of the top part of the artichoke off. Then we're actually just gonna split it down the middle. Inside, you'll see it has the purple heart. This is actually the choke part of the artichoke, where it gets its name from. Down below is the heart. The inner part here where it's purple and the actual fuzzy part, this is actually the bloom of the artichoke. If we left this sitting out on the tree, this would actually open out into a flower. This purple part would actually become the flower itself. It's still edible at that point, but it would be very hard to eat. Once the artichoke is split in half and trimmed, what we want to do next is actually cook the artichoke. This inedible part in the middle is really hard to remove in the raw state of the artichoke. And what we do at the restaurant, we actually steam these. Now, obviously, you don't have a steamer at home. So what we're going to do is place them in salted boiling water for about 30 minutes. Seems a long time, but this choke will remove a lot easier when the artichoke is actually fully cooked. OK, so these have been boiling for 30 minutes. What we're going to do is remove them from the water. And we're going to test to make sure they're cooked. With artichokes, you really want to err on the side of them being a little overcooked than undercooked. The best way to test these is if you take the stem, either take a spoon or a fork, and just press down below the choke itself. If they're fork tender, they're cooked. If not, if there's still a little pressure there, put them back, five more minutes, they'll be perfect. Okay, now with the artichokes are fully cooked, we're gonna remove the actual choke part itself. There's a fine line right between the choke and the heart. What we're gonna do is use a spoon and gently insert it, loosen the choke, and then remove the choke itself. Then we're going to take the back of the spoon and pull out all the purple leaves. They have a little spiny top, so you'll be able to feel where they rip out, and we're left with the in part of the artichoke. Okay, now we've prepped our artichokes. What we do here at the restaurant is we will take these, lightly season them, brush them with some clarified butter, and finish them on a hardwood grill. Okay, we've grilled our artichokes. We actually grilled them for about three minutes per side. If you were cooking them at home, you can pan fry them in some clarified butter. You could bake them in the oven about 400 degrees, eight to 10 minutes. The fun part about eating these is what is edible, what is not edible. The actual heart down at the base of the spine of this is fully edible. What we do is peel the leaves away. If you look closely, the meat at the bottom, that is the edible part, where it turns into a khaki green is the inedible part. What you would do with this is basically dip it in some of your seasoned dip, pull it with your teeth, pull away, discard the rest of the leaf. We have more videos on the way. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Action! <laughs> I would class artichokes as a superfood. They're very high in dietary fiber, vitamin A, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, which all are fantastic for your body. Very high in dietary fiber and packed full of antioxidants. So, apart from that, they actually taste fantastic. <laughs> this could, seriously, this could be my new job. <laughs> Italy, Spain, and Egypt actually consume about half of the world's population, compared to the United States only consume about 3% of the world's population. It's not population, it's like population. production.
Italy, Spain, and Egypt actually consume about half of the world's consumption. <laughs> production. Consume, consume half of the world's production. Italy, Spain, and Egypt actually consume about half of the world's population. Production.